All right, folks, I hope y'all can hear me. I got a vent running above me here, and I got a fan running behind me. It's hot today. It's 85 degrees. I do have this my garage insulated, this area that I work in, for so I can work when it's cold. And in return, it does it helps when it's hot, right? I can tell it's a little cooler in here than it is in the rest of the garage. All right, guys, this is swim bait blend. That's what I use. Uh, now, I made a... I've made a couple of porta catchers lately that I didn't put this part on. Well, I'm, I must call them a giveaway, okay? Because sometimes, guys, I just run out of time. <laughs> All right. Now I got to heat this up. It's one cup, so I'm gonna heat this. I'm gonna start off about 215, 220. It takes about three minutes. I want to stir it in between. You do not want to overheat. So I'm gonna go. Let's go. Uh, let's go 220. All right, when that cuts off, I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys. So just, let's see what you, And guys, I ended up putting it back in there. Let's see if I total it up. Ended up being about three minutes and 25 to 30 seconds. Yep, she's at 350. All yeah. right, we need to hit 350. Now, the blue. Let me make sure y'all can see there. All right. Guys, I do one drop to two cups. This is one cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drop on my cup. This is the toughest part when you're making a little bit because my recipe. All right, what's going to do? Uh, all right, I think I've done better that time. I'm touching it. <laughs> all right, guys, I got a little bit in there. Let's give it the blue tint. Now this is what I said, guys. Was hard to do. It's hard to get every batch the same. Okay. If I make it two cups at a time, I put one drop in it and go on. I'm doing one cup, so I just want a little blue tint. Now, we're going to add blue highlight powder. But it's very hard when you're making small batches. Make sure I got blue highlight powder. All right. Now, it's going to give it some more blue, see? It gives it a, it gives it a glow of blue. That's what highlight powder does. That's basically with the color Virginia Shad. It's basically with the highlight powder. Monkey milk. Y'all have used monkey milk? It's just pearl with highlight powder. That's all it is. What I'm doing, guys, is busting some of it. All right. Here goes the flake. This is when it really makes it right here. There's three sizes of blue. Okay. Two sizes of silver. It's 008 blue, 015. A little bit of 035. Just give it a chunk here and there. There's zero, uh, zero, zero, 008 silver, zero, 015 silver. And see, that's what gives it its show right there. You get that blue tint, and that flake really sets it off. All right. See, I got, I got a bag here. That's what I use. I got a recipe back here. And I, look, I keep looking at mine and looking at that and going like, how close am I? <laughs> I close them and like I said it can get a touch you can be a touch off all right God I just rubbed a little bit more blue on my knife what I've done I want just a touch more blue but I don't want to drop I just rub some on my knife blade all right and you can pour it guys if you can take a shot and pour some of it and if you don't like it you can always stop and uh, pour it again all right I gotta reheat this. I'll get back with it. We'll shoot it. All right, guys, we're gonna shoot it. I've got the uh, willow tail molds up here also. So when I shoot, I'm gonna shoot all these molds. That's right. It's no use to waste it, right? There's the. I'm gonna shoot two crickets first. All right, there's the two crickets. Willow tail. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. I'm gonna try to pull a little bit more again. That's dangerous. Let's go with the mess. All right, tapping them off. Okay, now let that set up, guys, and we'll see how that comes out. Okay, guys, we'll open these molds. Now, y'all remember what you got to do. Some of you got it down. Some of you got it down good enough that you hit the number on the head. But leave your number. And uh, by Wednesday evening, usually around 5 o'clock, <laughs> about 5 o'clock, I'm laughing, guys, because they didn't make it at 5 o'clock the other day. You ever heard you have too many irons in the fire? That's me, guys. I got so much going on sometimes. It's unbelievable. All right. Here's the two we're going to open. This is two inch. I messed up. 
I like it when they come out and I can hold it like this because they I hang them. All right. Now y'all can see why it's called Blue Boy. It's got a blue tint. It's got the blue highlight tint to it. When you move them, everything's blue. Blue flake. Got some silver flake in it, which draws attention. Okay. So you can see through them. All right. That's two inch. All right. Those are, those are pretty. Now, guys, it's hard to get, get them right every time. I make a, two, I'm doing a cup today. I usually do two cups at a time, like I said. And that's more consistent than me keeping the color the same. And I dump them in a pot on the griddle, and I put four cups in there, and I start pouring. That's how I can get a lot of like. If you get a bag, if you order two bags, and you go like, one bag's a touch difference. It could be. I try not to. If I think you're off, uh, guys, I, 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 try to re, I try to change them. I remelt them and change them if I can. Because I can add more plastic to it and lighten them, okay? And I can add more blue to it and darken them. That's the inch and a half. Okay? But I'm trying to keep it as consistent as I can. And I know some of y'all guys pour. Y'all make comments all the time on the channel. So I know you know what I'm saying. You can get them really close, but you can, it's hard to get them perfect every time. Alright? This is the uh, two-inch cricket. Okay, we got the willow tails. Showed you them, showed you the little cricket. This is a two-inch cricket, okay? I got one more wheel tail. We got to open it while we're doing it. Bam. Yeah, the wheel tail's pretty in it. That's a nice bait. All right, this is the the wheel tail. This blue, this blue, uh, blue boy wheel tail is a very popular seller, guys. It's selling really good, that and the stinger. But I'm going to tell you what. Once you use one of these, you're going you're gonna to be happy with them. Once you, once you use a cricket, that little tail right there, and these things will get harder, guys. Right now, they're very soft, all right? And as they cool, they get harder. It takes them quite a few hours. Now, a lot of people put them in water. I don't put them in water because if I put them in water, I've, I want to make sure they dry, which takes a while because I don't want water in the bag. Y'all know what that does to plastic. So I don't put them in water. Dead on plastic, on the, they send you a little car when you order the plastic, and they say, don't put them in water. So I'm, they, they make the plastic. The other plastic experts, I'm going to do what they say. I don't put them in water. I hang these a lot of times. I hang them on a, on a pegboard like that. Put a, I put a pin in them. I hang them, let them set. Or I pull them off and uh, stack them, lay them out, and let them dry and cool until 24 hours before I ever bag them. I've learned that, guys, from the beginning. And they do better. All right, guys, put your number down, 1 through 300. Appreciate each and every one of you. Appreciate all the subscribers. And guys, we're going to see y'all on the outro. All right, guys. Everything quit sticking to everything. Look at here. Blue Boy. Now, I've used Blue Boy a couple times. Okay? In, in these baits. Uh, in the fun videos here and there. Let's get the first one off there. Okay? But, we're going we're gonna to fish with it this morning. All right? It's... Uh, what time is it? I've been, guys, I done been on a video this morning and did a couple things like that. It is quarter to eight, 7.45. All right. So, 7.45. feel like it's lunchtime. Here we go. This is on Lamar's head. Love these heads. Good hook. <clears throat> so a lot of these sickle hooks you buy the hook is not that great I don't know what brand he's using but it's a good quality hook alright guys I hadn't even looked under this dock yet it was a live scope I'm going to make what I call a milk run this morning okay we're going to hit let's look under there yeah it's a couple there this morning this dock usually don't hold a bunch of fish it usually has a few fish on it we just need to find something that's interesting. Okay, guys, I took a few casts. I had to get back up to them. They're way back under there. And I, I've cast about three more times after I cut the camera off the first time. So I don't want to run a bunch of... I don't want to run but a bunch of film i got to edit through. All right. Am I, I, Dennis, I can tell you something else, too. Uh... I used plastic that I've been made a bunch of baits with, and the silver had settled some in it. And this doesn't have as much silver in it as I'd like for it to have. 
Sometimes the silver guys, y'all, the guys that poor know this, the silver and the, the metal flake itself, let's say the flake, the flake itself will settle to the bottom. And when you pick a puck up, a little leftover piece, okay, when you pick it up, all the flakes on the bottom of the cup. There you go. So you, sometimes you don't get as much uh, coloring in there, as much flake as you want. This, this batch here doesn't have as much silver in it as I like to it to have. I think a lot of the flake, silver flake, it's settled. It's got some in it, but not as much. But that's okay. Y'all can see right now it's working. That was the second cast. I just had to get back there to them. Those are 10 inches. All right. All I, all I gotta do is cut the camera off. Like I said, I've got to get it to them. I got the camera off and want to bite me. It makes it easier for me to edit when I can, when I can load the clips. You know what I'm saying? When I can load the clips and uh, cut the clips off the front and the back, and it goes to the next one. When I let it run for a long period of time and got to dig through it, you got to cut it, you got to slice it. I know some guys that do that, and they're probably good at it. I'm not good at that. Guys, I came out to the front of the dock. I, <clears throat> when you, when you, I'm getting ready to leave it because they quit on me. But they also they moved on me. Uh, sometimes once you catch a few off of a dock, and you'll catch them off the left side. Let's say you're thrown back in this left column, and you catch them on the left side, and they quit. <laughs> and you're going like, well, I then caught them all, or whatever. You don't have a live scope to see the difference. You're about nine and a half. A lot of times, guys, it's cause they, it's cause they moved. They were back there about that second post in the middle of the boat that's why I was catching them and I could see them and I keep looking back and I'm going like I don't see about a couple now they moved up to this front corner post all right guys moved to another dock I'm like I said I'm dock hopping at the hop 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 right oh blue boy like I say somebody asked me have I tried this in blue boy and I just made a video yesterday with some new colors called new colors and it's colors I've never made before in any bait and never used. And I'm trying to come up with something new for this cricket. But somebody asked about Blue Boy and I thought, well, you know what? I've done I've done Blue Boy with the little one. I don't think I made any Blue Boy in the bigger one. It's a two inch one. So I thought, let's try it. Let's see if I can catch something with it on with the old Blue Boy. Really a nice morning, guys. I started thinking, I hate to have to go work today. I've got to go in and I've got to take some baits down to the Holly Grove. Uh, I've got to go see a guy about a job. He's about nine, 10 inches. So I got to go in about 11. So we're trying to get it done this morning. All right, we're in. See if the trolling motor will hold me off. I think I'm gonna have to pull out a little ways. Winds just started. First wind this morning. The lake's been flat all morning. Am I complaining, guys? Because it was 69 when I left the house. I got pulled forward. It was supposed to be uh, supposed to be 90 today. So I'm not gonna. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to come off anyway at 11 o'clock, right? There you go, guys. I don't do I don't do the heat good, guys. I paint in it. I work in the heat. So I don't fish in the heat unless I have to. I fish in the mornings and I fish in the evenings. If it's a nice day now, the other day it was nice. It was like 82. I fished most of the day. All about the same size. It's about 10 inches. That never might have had a hard time hitting 10. All right, guys, this one. You gonna think? Y'all gonna say, "Well, he came in really easy, Dennis. Well, he, he was wrapped around that post. He didn't wore himself out trying to get off that post." I'm checking my line right now. But he was, he had me around the post. Ah, all right, you ain't gonna get that hook in me. One of them got the hook in me just a little bit yesterday. He flopped and he come off. The hook came out of his mouth and got me. He's about nine and a half. When you grab this line like this, guys, and they cut you know, like at above them, and the fish comes off, and your line slips up through your hand like that, that's how it got me. All right, guys, I done lost three in a row. And just cause I'm not hooked, I'm not hooking them good. Like I said, the hook's small, but look, if a hook goes all the way through, see how that went all the way through that lip right there? If it goes all the way through, it doesn't matter what size it is. But see how easy it come out? 
and you hook and see the hole there now when you hook them through that white part it ain't hard for them to throw it you got to keep that line tight i had one wrap me around that post right there and he was nice i got him off and he was a nice fish got him out to here somewhere and he come off and he was putting a bend on me i, mean, I could tell it was a nice fish but i didn't get him in <laughs> Yeah, there's about 30 or 40 back in there. I can see them. There's a bunch here. This dock always, she probably sees me here a lot. I fish this dock a lot because this dock is loaded with them. I've checked your dock. I've never seen a crappy on your dock. Yeah. All right, guys. I don't, I was talking to these ladies. They're walking. They live in this house. They walked clean around the cove on a road. I didn't know the road went around because it's North Carolina guys or anything about it. And they went clean around and, and came came down here just to look at the dock. It says, because they're always looking at it from the other side of the lake. And they was asking me what I was catching. And I said, I'm catching crappy. What's a crappy? Well, I understand that. If you don't fish, you don't know. So I caught one and showed them. <laughs> That's why they were standing there talking to me. And then uh, they were talking about the dock. It is a nice dock. And I've met these people, like I told you, I've talked to these people that own this dock. They're, they're nice folks. And uh, she said, oh, they're from Raleigh. I said, yeah, no, I've talked to them. All right, next cast, guys. The next cast, come here. Isn't that funny how you lose a couple and then catch a couple in a row? Like I say, he's hooked good. He's about nine and, uh, I'd say he's nine and five eighths. They're all running about the same size here. I'm back into that ball again. I'm trying to stay out of the ball right here. See, this ball right here is just in a bad spot. If it was up, if it was forward, six or eight feet would make a huge difference. It's about where I want to set the cast. And I keep getting into it. I'm afraid I'll get my trolling wire wrapped up in the, in the rope that's on it, so I'm afraid of. There you go. Now, they're eating this little bug up in, blue, in the blue boy. The main thing is getting to them. The school, I told you, was on back there. They've moved forward a little bit. And that's why I came to the front. Uh, and the lake's down. Y'all notice I got an opening there to, today? All about the same size. He's about 10 inches. Under, under 10 in the area. Uh, you want to try live one more time? Let's try live. Oh, <laughs> smack me. Opening there, I could drive a truck through. And I hit the dock. And y'all see me cast there when it's three inches and I cast back under there, right? And you know why? I said this before. Cast on these docks is work. And you gotta get down here and you gotta get like that. And I just stood up here and went, you can't do it. Even though it opens that big, you just can't you just can't go, yep, there it is. It's work, guys. You gotta work it back back there. And that's why a lot of people don't like to fish docks. There you go. A lot of people don't like fish docks because they're hard work. About the same size. Bam. Guys. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cut the camera off, guys. I can just keep doing this here for about a long time. I think I caught 38 here one day. And they're all about the same that size. And I, I'm, I said that because of this. I, I make the comment that I go looking for bigger fish. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Not trying to make anybody mad. And somebody will say, well, there's nothing wrong with catching the little ones? And you're right. There's nothing wrong with catching the little ones. You see me sitting here catching them, all right? That's not the point in the video when I do that. Uh, what I'm saying is, I done got tired of catching the little ones. <laughs> I done caught some little ones, right? And after you catch a bunch of little ones, guys, you're going like, well, I done caught a bunch of little ones. Uh, I said, wonder if I could find a 12, 14 incher. That's why I'm talking about. I go looking. I'm going to look in a couple other places. I could sit here and catch a few more. I know that. But, and again, guys, I fish a lot now. This uh, Today's Thursday. I have fished three days this week now. I fished, I fished uh, Tuesday evening, Wednesday evening, and this morning's Thursday. Okay? All right, guys. You can see how busy that is. Oh, that's a tree in the water. See some of those marks like that right there are crappy. Some of it's a tree. You got to kind of pick it out, but it's it's a few right here. See those right there? I know those are crappy. But it's a few there. Some of these vertical marks, like there's a, those two I'm pretty sure are crappy. That looks like a crappy. He just moved, didn't he? 
but it's hard to get a bait to them because it's a tree in the water. It's laying down from the bank. It's root ball still on it, but up there on the bank. And you can see it's in 14, basically 14 foot of water. Get away from the trolling motor. Why do they want to run to the trolling motor? You know they got to hear that thing running. It's sitting there running. Come back over here. As soon as the net got there, he decided he was going to go down. Now guys, y'all see this tree I'm fishing. That's why, that's why I told you I switched to uh, four, back to four pound off my two pound rod. Two pound rod's laying here. I got a little one on it too. That's a nicer fish, guys. Or, or a decent fish. Let's put it that way. Give him something wet to lay in here so he can slap it all the camera. I'm, I'm saying I'm gonna measure one to show y'all. They're not bad fish. Well, right, he's touched over 10 inches. Okay, that's what I'm saying. They're, I keep saying they're 10 inch fish. I'm gonna show you one. Look, that's what they are. He's a little bit, he might have been a touch bigger than the last one. The last one probably was nine and seven eighths. All right, guys, I sucker one up out of the tree. I'm coming across the top of the tree. I moved the boat. And I come across the top of the tree and I seen this one roll up out of the tree. And I just kept working it and he finally grabbed it. I'm trying not to get down in that tree no further than I have to because all I do is lose jigs when I do. And these are little jigs I don't want to lose. I don't have it two more of them. Uh, like I said, I was looking around again last night. A little bit of time I had. Look here. He's got black nose. I'll sleep on the reel. The, uh, they had a biologist again on the other night. He's, guys, he's about 10 and a half. They had a biologist on there again the other night. And one of the guys said, they're a hybrid. And, and the biologist said, no, they are not a hybrid. He said, it's a trait that is passed on. That crappy right there, when she lays eggs, her babies are going to have that black trait too. That's how, he said, that's what, what it is. Howdy, folks. Okay, blue boy. Guys, one of the best colors I've got. Sells great. All the colors are good to me, but it's the best. It's selling the best, okay? And in this two-inch cricket, it worked just fine. I threw it a little bit more than I did the inch and a half, okay? The inch and a half is just a fish catcher. You put it on, you're going to catch some fish. And it catches fishes of all sizes. You're going to catch some small ones. You're going to catch some seven, eight-inch crappy if they're there. But if you're in 12-inch crappy, they'll hit it too, guys. Right now, it's hard to find big fish, okay? So post-spawn, way post-spawn, summer pattern's just starting. Uh, they've been in the back of the creeks. They're starting to move toward the channel, and they're getting on deeper docks. Uh, I'm gonna struggle to find big fish now. I went to a couple docks to, today in this video. I told you I said I'm gonna go to a couple more docks to try. There were no fish on them, guys. There was a bass on one I caught, and he jumps when I, I had him on. He jumped beside the boat and got off. It was a nice bass. I went to the next dock, and the bass broke me off. I seen like four fish back there, and I threw at him, guys, because like I've been saying this before. A lot of times, that's where you find these big crappy. They'll get on a dock by themselves, three, four, or five of them by themselves. That's how I usually find them this time of year. And that's what I was looking for. Now get on the deeper docks. You want docks that are at least 12 foot at the front to 15, okay? And they'll get up sit on the front. They'll sit on those walkways, okay? They'll sit around the ladders. They'll, they love those ladders. And they'll get up right up and sit behind them this time of year. And that's what I was looking for in these main channel docks, but I didn't find any today. Did not find any big, big fish like today. Found a lot of nice fish, but I didn't find any big ones. And this bait worked fine. But that's how I lost them. And I got hung up a couple times, lost a couple to fish, lost a couple to, uh, to bass, broke me up. Guys, I appreciate you. Thank y'all so much for watching Fishing Lake Coast and being part of the channel. Thank you for y'all guys that are ordering. People keep ordering. Like I said, blue, this blue boy's been the best color so far for selling. Thank you for that. Tell your friends to check out the webpage and the channel. Okay? We got people subscribing every day. We're growing. If y'all notice the numbers, we're growing. And I appreciate that too, guys. Hey, thank y'all so much. My name is Dennis. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for checking out the webpage. And we'll see you next time on Fishing Lake Country. See ya.